good bit rate. Good bit rate. Okay. Um, pull this up. Oh, we gotta watch chat. Yeah, we gotta watch chat. Gentlemen, draft is live. Okay. Let's. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What room is this? We are live. <clears throat> okay. All right, let me open up on my phone just so we have. Oh, wait, should we change the stream title? Stream title gonna change. Um, oh. So, 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 set up. Oh, this is unstable draft. Yeah, oh, so right, that's right. what we did. Let's do um, unstable gentleman's draft. Wompkins. Wompkins already commenting. All right, Wompkins. Yeah, buddy. Dude. This Wompkins. is the best. This is the best. All right, All right. guys. Well, hello, hello. Hey, guys. Welcome to another installment of, uh, of Gentleman's Draft. Uh, we are your hosts. Yeah. I'm Mark. This is Jeff. Yeah, uh, and we're just gonna open. Uh, we have nine unstable packs. We did an okay. unstable uh, draft in our last stream, and um, we didn't really go through all the packs in the box. We don't really know what to do with these because we're not gonna do another unstable draft. So we're just gonna open them and see what comes out of them um, yeah. for uh, for your pleasure and enjoyment, as well as the enjoyment of us because mm -hmm. we like cards. Yeah, we love cards. Um, we love magic. Stable is really fun. We love San Pellegrino. We love San Pellegrino. Yeah. We have, we actually have, I'm really glad we have three here because I'm actually kind of used <clears> right now. And uh, this water is amazing. Uh, uh, Some might say it's the best water. Oh, yeah. The best water. Yeah. You know, uh, just like hyphy mats. Yeah. Hyphy mats. You know, best leaves. Right now in the area, there's this whole unfiltered water thing where people are drinking dirty water uh, and paying like 60 bucks for two gallons. Like, what is that part? Like a new paleo diet or something? I think like it's that? like, yeah. But you give me yeah, some San Pellegrino. Indeed. Uh, that's all that, I need. That, that's that's clean sparkling clean water. Clean sparkling water, the best. Dude, well, let's get to it. We have let's a new we have a new card cam set up. Hopefully, got a new setup. Thanks, Logitech. Uh, on great, stream. great setup. We, we've been told that that we want a foil island by chat, and I agree. Foil island, I, okay. I agree. I foil, foil, foil island. lands, foil island. Let's do it. So I like this pack, guys. Let's go with this pack. Yeah. Very nice. The rest of uh, yeah. Or can we get can we get like the the live cam? Up there, is there a way to get the live cam? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. We're still stream noobs. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. Okay. So maybe you know, like when we have foils, the light, the light will be a little bit more exciting. Yeah. Let's see. So let's see how it goes. But uh, pack, let's pack one. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. And we'll do uh, let's do pack one, pick one. So okay. I think that's the yeah. way to do this. That'll be fun. Boom. Boom. Okay. Is there any card we hate? We don't really know if there's a card we hate. Like a yeah. card we rip up that's card. Yeah. Right? No. Yeah. Dude, Merman. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the center is a battlefield. You may draw a card. Yeah. Nice thing that's like it's augmentable. So, uh, oh man, that might be a little too far away. Huh? Anyways, it's augmentable, which means like there are cards that can make this happen every turn. So it's kind of kind of an interesting, interesting deal. Can't read that. All right. Well, it's all right. Yeah. The Mer Man. It's actually a little bit lower. There we go. That. The Merman there. Cool card. Pretty cool card. Uh, half, yeah. half, half, half Mer, half Man. That's just a five drop, three, yeah. three. Kind it's of aug augmentable. It's augmentable, though. but it's kind of expensive. But, yeah, I mean, I yeah. kind of like, you know, creatures in this set are pretty expensive regardless, yeah. right? And again, these aren't like uh, officially playable cards. They're kind of just uh, cards to have fun with. They're kind of yeah. ridiculous cards, but you mess around, uh, and have a good time. But yeah. but the, it makes it for some interesting play. There's like a card where it has, uh, it comes on the battlefield, and you have to keep your head on the table until yeah. it loses the battlefield. And if you pick your head up, it dies. Yeah, uh, I played that card, and my neck really hurt for, for days. Yeah, and you know, Magic's a really challenging game. You know, it's it's successful. Uh, but you know, it can get pretty complicated and get challenging. And this is this is kind of just like adding a new little a little, a little twist to a it. Twist, a twist, exciting twist. 
Uh, next up, we have Willing Test Subject. He's a uh, three drop two two with reach, and uh, whenever you roll a four or higher on a die, you put a one one counter on this guy, uh, and you can pay six to roll a die. So it's a little expensive for a die roll, but um, but die rolls are are abundant in this set, and yeah. so you can have a lot of fun uh, with like a die roll synergy, which yeah. is really interesting. If you have like uh, you know loaded dice. This is a yeah. great set for you if, yeah. you're, if, you're, if you're into cheating. Or just a pound of dice. You know, yeah. Like the Libba D. Yeah, if you got a pound, yeah, Libba D6. <laughs> uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're pounding the D6, um, yeah, this is good. Um, we got Ronico and Turbo Turbo Tyro. What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome How's to going? the stream. Um, hey, guys. If you're anywhere near our office in San Francisco, we'll, we invite you to come on over. Yeah. Um, you know, we're really into stream interaction, chat interaction. Um, I'm an okay guy, Jeff's a great guy. Um, you know, feel free to come hang out, talk <laughs> about cards. Talk um, about cards. Uh, not very accurately though, let's be real here. Uh, yeah. That's that's the hard part. Um, next up, we have actually one drop, one one. Uh, uh, you get to card. roll a six sided die, and then you gain life equal to the result. Ooh, that's, the, that's a It's win the win. wonderful, adorable kitten. Yeah. Uh, again, like all these augment cards are pretty cool uh, because their abilities, they all trigger when they come into the battlefield, but then their augmentations, which I hope we have in this pack. We don't have a single one in here. That's upsetting. Anyways, yeah. we'll get to one, we'll get and to then one. we'll talk about how that affects the value of these cards. These are actually really valuable cards, even though, you know, by themselves, not incredibly playable. Uh, yeah. 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 And it's, it's, it's a kitten. And I don't know if you guys have been on the internet. Internet, really into cats, kittens. Um, we, we got some... Some of them loves milfs. They're uh yeah. You know, Ronnie, well. Ronnie, whatever you're into, it's cool, yeah, man. man. I mean, it's cool. We're, that's that's fine. That's, uh, that's awesome. We're we're happy for yeah, you. We're happy for you. Good on you, bud. We're good happy on for you, you dude. Uh, Ooh, yeah, this card. I, none of these are really. Uh, so we got a a question from from Turbo. Uh, how much is that worth? I don't know. Wait, are, are we? Which card? Yeah, I don't know which card. Yeah, yeah, which uh, card? None of them are worth all that much. Really. Yeah, these are kind of just fun boys. We'll we'll talk about it though. Actually, the most expensive cards really in the set are the are the lands. Yeah, that's that's really what we're here to see. Which lands did we get? Yeah, another augmentable uh, creature, uh, bumbling penguin. Well, I don't know. That's how you say that, I guess. Uh, it's a four drop two two, uh, mm -hmm. and then it allows you to destroy an artifact when it comes into play. So, yeah. uh, oh, Turbo cool. Tyrone also know much the cat cost. You know, Turbo Tyrone. Um, free for you, bud. You know, free for you. Just. Yeah. Uh, message us on Twitch, just your address, and I'll just mail it to you, man. You want the adorable kitten? I will, I will, you know, it is probably not even worth the stamp I will use to mail it to you, but I'll just mail it to you. So, um, so yeah. Sweet. Sweet. All right, next up we have a Steady Handed Mook. So it's a, a, a three drop card uh, with Death, death Touch. And Ooh. when it enters the battlefield, it assembles contraption. So that's another, uh, it's a one month. Uh, so that's another mechanic inside of this set, this unset uh, that they have where, you know, it feels a little like gimmicky, but it's like, it's really more of just like a have fun uh, with a card game, mm -hmm. um, normal ma magic mechanic, but then like on top of it, you have these these funny things. So contraptions are these, these side things that you assemble, mm -hmm. and each turn you move to a different contraption, and it, and it triggers an ability. We'll also see uh, some of those because they have contraptions in every pack for this set. Yeah, um, Darren, no need for the Bitcoin. Um, you know, I'll talk to our CFO about getting a Bitcoin wallet set up. But um, you know, we appreciate it. Um, but yeah, just uh, you know, slide into our DMs. Yeah. Um, and we'll send you the adorable kitten. Yeah, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna mail us the Bitcoin in the mail, that works too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, preferably on like a secure. Yeah, secure. Wallet, crypto wallet, yeah, in, right? Encrypt the envelope. Yeah, um, yeah. And just mail it over us USPS encrypted delivery service. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're here. Well, um, we'll, I mean, if people want to donate Bitcoin, we'll take Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> but, Bitcoin's worthless. I mean, but it's, it's we'll worthless, take. but to us, because it's from you, it's worth yeah, everything. it's worth you know? everything. Uh, next up, we have Hammer Helper. So it's actually a four drop uh, sorcery card, and you can gain control of a target creature until the end of the turn. You Ooh. untap it. Uh, then you roll a six-sided die, and until the end of the turn, it gains haste and gets... Uh, plus X attack, where X is the die roll. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's basically hijack a card we, we've seen that's in Ixalan right now. Um, you know, it's a mech card. 
But this is kind of cool because it also adds uh, some extra punch to that creature. Uh, it takes you away from your opponent. Something you can play, and you know. Man, Terra and Tyrone, are we gay for each other? No, you know, we're not. We're actually both engaged men. Yeah. Uh, but um, not to other men. Yeah. Uh, to, to lovely, beautiful we're, fiance ladies. We're both yeah. engaged to Believe women. it or not. Jeff isn't gay for me, but I'm kind of gay for him. I mean, um, as it, you can see, my hair game's kind of weak. Um, yeah. So if you look at this beautiful mane over here, it's true. I can't help but have strong, intimate feelings for his hair. Yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes. He is my co worker, yeah. but it's okay. We've kind yeah. of. And you know what? When Mark comes in with a freshly shaved head, it, there's, there's almost nothing. It's better. shiny. It's, it's shiny. shiny. It's like a beautiful, shiny card. Um, it's true. So and yeah. hopefully, we have a beautiful, shiny card in here. Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, next up, we have a 2 drop 2 1 Enrage Killbot. Uh, colorless, common, not augmentable or anything like that. So, a uh, pretty bland card for a set like this. Uh, not really that much fun to play. It doesn't play into the flavor of uh, the unstable set. So. Uh, pretty boring card, I'd say. Uh, next up, you have Secret Base, so you can add any color, uh, any like, at one mana of colorless mana to your mana pool if you tap it. Mm -hmm. You can also add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Um, you can only spend it though uh, for spells that share the watermark. So I don't know if you're able to see the little like watermark at the bottom, but it has like a, you know, kind of like a double necked beaker. I think is on that one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so like you could use that, for example, for Will and Test subject. You know, they both have the double beaker, so you can use that guy to, mm -hmm. to spend uh, for any color mana, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, next up, we have Load Water, so it's a two drop. Uh, it's an artifact equipment, uh, and the equipped creature has tap this creature, and it deals one damage to target player. Then you roll a six sided die on a five or higher, untap mm -hmm. it. Um, Quick cost of two. So this is where we're talking about the, the die roll mechanic that's been introduced uh, in this unset, where basically die rolls get you different things based on the value that uh, you roll, which is kind of cool. Um, next up, we have a, a six drop sorcery, five finger discount. Uh, you put target non land permanent into your hand. You may spend mana as though it were uh, mana of any color the next time you cast that card. So we got another viewer. Hacked Rab Zombie. If we open any Star Star Elemental tokens, he'd be interested in those. Hacked Rab Zombie, we got you, bro. So we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for Star Star yeah. Elemental tokens. There's a there's five finger discount. Uh, so huh, yeah. interesting card, you know. Yeah. This this set for me is incredibly hard to judge, like what I'd play. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like your first picks are generally pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, next up, we have uh, a card called Suspicious Nanny. It's a five drop. 3-4, whenever Suspicious Nanny deals combat damage to a player, it reassembles target contraption that player controls. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't really get how reassembling works. Again, these mechanics are a little confusing to me. I've only played a couple games of this. Uh, yeah, but, I don't know. Um, well, I guess, I guess if you reassemble... Can you just change the where your things are socketed? Does, any, does anyone know how reassembling Sockets, works? Reassembling. Like, I'm assuming that you can just shift one of your contractions from one socket to another, but maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess you can move it, so you yeah. can say okay, like you you're not going to get this thing next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so your yeah. next turn. Oh uh, yeah, maybe that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Hack, 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 Rab Zombie said you can move a contraption to a different socket. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks. Thanks. Oh, nice. Uh, dude, sweet. So we have a legendary creature, Human Gamer, Spike Tournament Grinder. Uh, so it's a uh, one one, and then it's uh, four mana. Uh, but you can also pay life uh, for the mana. So I'll show you this card in a second. Um, but you can uh, choose a card from your own. Uh, of choose a card you own from outside the game that's been banned or restricted in constructed format. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. So kind of a fun play on like cards you can't play anymore in constructed formats. You still get to play them. And then there's a symbol up in the top um, that you could either pay uh, a swamp or you can pay two life per instance of that. Uh, in place of mana as well. So it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's called a, a Phyrexian mana? Whoa, all right, well, oh, wow. now we know. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Hat Crab Zombie. Yeah. You, you are very knowledgeable. I bet you would even know the banned or restricted constructed card that you would pick, huh? Like, what, what do you think that would be for you? Like, you know, I'm, it's not banned or restricted, but my pick would obviously be Contract Killing. 
Easy. Easy. Five mana. <laughs> if you can pick it. But you get two back. Yeah. You can't pick it because it's not banner restricted yeah. yet. But in the future, it will be. Because, because it's, it's clearly... It's OP. It's OP. It's OP. Effective mana cost of three. Three. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to strong. beat. Hard yeah. to beat. Uh, and then we also have our beautiful oh, planes. beautiful planes. Full art planes. Full art uh, planes. You know, Mark, I don't need the planes. Do you, do you need the planes? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it to the side. You know, we can just put this in the middle pile. As yeah. Called during the gentleman's draft. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we'll. Yeah, I think it's a uh, really the these these full art lands. You you can you know this really the the main re the only true takeaway value from these sets that you can kind of use pretty in much. other decks. Um, and they're beautiful. Um, so pretty much, the large value of all these boosters is just in these beautiful lands here. I'm into it. Uh, next, we actually have a, uh, a mythic card, uh, and this is one of the contraptions that you could assemble. Uh, it's called BB Gun, uh, and BB Gun, basically when it gets cranked, you can add an ability to a creature that allows it uh, to fight other creatures. So effectively, um, you know, you can just keep doing this over and over again with like a big creature you have, or if you want to do a cheap removal, basically like throw one of your creatures at another one. Pretty cool. And then this repeats, so you run into this every three turns, uh, which is the way uh, we can actually show, yeah. kind of on the back of that, you get to kind of put one above each of those, uh, and then each turn it progresses one and then loops back around. So every three turns, you'd be able to activate that BB gun ability. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then actually, that was uh, our other crank card. What is that one called, Mark? It's called Auto, auto key, key, Artifact Contraption. Whenever you crank Auto Key, until end of turn, target creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types and gains tap, you gain three life. So pretty cool. Life gain if you need it, if you're starting to die. I like it. I'm into it. Uh, and then next up, we just have a, a beautiful, shiny squirrel token. Look at that shine. Ooh, Look at that foil. Beautiful. Go. Beautiful. All right, Mark. All right, what, do you, what, what would you think you'd take here? I mean, first pick... Uh, pack one, pick one. Mm. I'm probably going with BB gun. I, you know, I think the contraptions are, are important. Mm. Uh, and it seems like a pretty good ability to me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably go with Spike. Yeah? Cool card. Turn to make around Yeah, Turn it's interesting. Run. I like it. I'm into yeah. it. All right. All right. That's probably my follow-up. Follow-up. Actually, you know what? First pick is, of course, the planes. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Here, why don't we do this? Why don't we put yeah. the... We'll put anything rare in up. Put it in its own pile. All right. And then the contraption. Yeah, anything rare. And then we'll put the planes. We'll put the planes on its own. Zone. And then token. Token. Boom. 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 There you go. Organization. Right. And just just in case we run into any real uh, beautiful cards, we have our, our beautiful yeah. hyper mat. Hyphy uh, mat. Hyphy mat. Hyphy mats. Hyphy mats. Hyphy mats. like to call They're it. They're great. Uh, you got to protect your beautiful cards yeah so all right so you know first card of this pack we got a little duplicate we have a willing test subject um you know just saw one of those just saw so one of those no need next mother kangaroo Ooh. can be augmented when this creature enters the battlefield roll a six-sided die put a number of plus one plus one counters on this creature equal to the result so five drop for a one one doesn't sound like a good deal but this could be a two two or a seven seven man yeah. um so could be crazy if you have a, a really good die, it can be a 7-7 yeah. 100% some, of the time. Some variability there. Yeah. So what, what is it? Do those counters stay on? We get put a number of one one counters onto this creature equal to the result. Well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some augmentations allow this thing to happen every turn. So if you if you threw this on there and got that every turn, you mm. can crank this guy up really fast. Yes. You can become a big boy in a heartbeat. Big boy real quick. Next we have a riveting rigor. Um, three drop, two two. Um, when Rivering Rigor ends the battlefield, you may sacrifice another artifact. If you do, you, you put two plus one plus one counters on Rivering Rigor, and it assembles a contraption. So this is this card is actually pretty good, mostly because assembling contraptions is pretty good. Important in this, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Chipper Chopper, four drop, flying, good. When Chipper Chopper enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another artifact. If you do, put two plus one counters on it and assembles a contraption. So pretty much. The same card that we just saw. Ones, yeah. It's blue, a little more expensive. Flying. One one flying. So, you know, gives a little, takes a little. I actually played that card. Oh nice. Yeah. It's the only it's the only way I have to assemble contraptions in the in the draft. Ah, I I see. 
Hoisted Hireling, three drop, zombie. Hoisted Hireling has flying as long as it's being held above the battlefield. So like Jeff was saying, this is one of those gimmick cards. Yeah. Um, so as long as you're holding this card um, physically above the battlefield, it has flying. So um, What's pretty cool about this actually too is that it's like uh, if there's a, a spell that targets a flying creature and destroys a flying creature, boom, it's like not flying. Yeah. It's only flying when you need it to be. So. Yeah. No. Uh, you don't need to hold it there all the time because yeah. that can kind of like wear out your muscles. Yeah, just when you're attacking, uh, boom, I'm a flyer boom, I'm now. Flying. Oh, you're now I'm not attacking, flying. I'm a boom. flyer, I'm going to block you with my... Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty it's much... Fun. It's it's like a special version of Hexproof, you know. It's just like, you can't, you can't hit me, you know. You can't hit me, uh, you can't block me, you can't you can't do anything. Um, next one's Paniac, 3-drop. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a 6-sided die. Paniac gets plus X attack until the end of the turn where X is the result. So another another die rolling card. Um, so three drop for a zero three. Though, like, there are other cards that just like when you roll a die, something happens. So yeah. if you have a bunch of die roll cards, then, then it's possible you're triggering a whole bunch of stuff yeah. uh, based on a card like this. Next we have the Nomad Engine. Um, construct can be augmented. When this creature enters the battlefield, create a one one colorless gnome artifact creature token. So two two, four drop. You know, it looks yeah. cool. And Very again, cool. with some of the augmentations, you can be creating a 1-1 one, one every turn with yeah. this, or any time a die is rolled, or something like that. Next is Beast in the Show, a 6-drop. Mm -hmm. uh, trample, 6-4. Six, um, Straightforward. So this is like, this is feels more just like a regular card. Um, you know, it's... With a funny name, though. Yeah, funny name. You know, it's, Does it have good flavor text? That's the question. Let's see. Not a surprise to see you're on the podium. This Paragon of Tusk Curvature is just the latest addition to the long championship lineage of Wildspeaker Ranch. So I'm you know, pretty sure this card has multiple versions, multiple beasts in the artwork. Oh, nice. So yeah, yeah. this one just seems like a... And I think they might have different abilities. I don't know if they have different oh, nice. abilities for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a multi-art card. So there are some yeah. cards in the set that uh, have different artworks, uh, depending on the version you get, which is kind of cool. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out for any more of those. Next, we have Hammerfest Boomtacular. Five drop enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell with Goblin Explosion Ears Watermark, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, this card deals two damage to target creature or player. So you'll see the watermark there is like cool. so if you have that dynamite. Synergy, if they have that watermark synergy, this thing comes in handy. Yeah, so move over Ixalan because there's there's a, a much better synergy going on here. Next, we have a, a half of a card, um, Zombified. It's a plus two, plus two. Combine Zombified from your graveyard with target host, exile a creature card from your army. So this is, um, you know, that augment. This, yeah, this is one of those augmentations. And actually, this one in particular, so it adds 2-2 two, two to whatever creature you have. And then um, whenever you do the ability to exile a creature card from your graveyard, that would trigger the when it comes into play ability. So mm -hmm. like you'll see that it has a, a little colon after that second ability. And when you pay for that, that's any time you can trigger that thing. So with something like that kangaroo that gets 1-1 one, one counters, like you could have a zombified uh, kangaroo and mm -hmm. then... Just keep giving it counters by, by triggering die rolls or paying for die rolls. Next up is Rumors of My Death, dot, dot, dot. Three drop, enchantment. Uh, pay three and one swamp, four. Exile permanent control with the League of Dastardly Doom watermark. Return a permanent card with the League of Dastardly Doom watermark from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. um, so, so Dastardly Doom is a little... Uh, it's a little light bulb with like the brain bulb inside, yeah. I think. Or no, no, it's a... Yeah. It's an atomic explosion. Oh, inside. and a light bulb. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. So, kind of just, you know, kind of like a weird twist on the zombie mechanic. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a swap. And then our rare in this pack, Steam Flogger of the Month, 5 drop. It's a 3 3 goblin. When Steam Flogger of the Month enters the battlefield, it assembles a contraption for each contraption you control. Ooh, so you can be assembling contraptions, uh, you know, a bunch of contraptions. Bunch if, you of contraptions. A, if you have a bunch of assemblies in your deck, then boom, a bunch of contraptions. And you can stack contraptions, so you, you can have more than three contraptions, yeah. and then when you crank to it, I think you get to pick which one. I don't think they all trigger. I think you just get to pick which one yeah, I'm not that sure. you can crank in that file. Yeah, I yeah. drafted Unstable. Unfortunately, wasn't actually able to play. I'm, a, I'm actually a professional drafter, um, oh. but not yeah. a, only a semi-pro player. Yeah. Um, so That's our true. our land our value card here is a is a beautiful, a beautiful forest. forest. Beautiful forest. I know Jeff's eyeing this because you know he's he's got a he's got a red green dinos deck. Um, mm. But um, a one can said they all trigger. It's broken. Um, oh whoa, that yeah. is broken. So this this card would make it even more broken. Um, 
Then for our contraption, we have a thud for th thud for duds. Whenever you crank this card, roll two six-sided die. This deals damage to target creature equal to the difference between those results. Uh, so, so I actually played this card, and I kept rolling like a five and a four. Five, four, and seven, like a, seven. a three and kind two. Of a so I just get to like do a one damage. It was pretty. It was pretty disappointing. There's also like another card where you can roll, and the difference between the two die is like how many one one creatures you get to put on the board, and I got one every time in that too. I had zero luck. Yeah, you need uh, that with load, this. You card. need that loaded D six. Yeah, I need the loaded D six. Uh, and then for another contraption, we have Inflation Station. Whenever you crank this station, uh, target creature gets plus three, plus three until the end of the turn. So it's oh, a so pretty, straightforward, pretty, pretty powerful, pretty yeah. powerful card. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. Um, and then our our shiny, our shiny oh, token is shiny. Is a beautiful is a shiny token. Beautiful thopter. Um, is that a picture of a thopter on the back of it too? Yeah. That's Ooh. that's kind of is that is that that's kind of neat. Is that is that normal? I don't know. I like it though. Check the other token. No, the other token has like a has like. Oh, it's an ad. Yeah, it's an ad. ad. Uh, this one. Uh, Duplicate uh, art. Ads. Maybe 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 this is our value. <laughs> maybe that's our value. Who maybe, knows? Maybe it's a, a very beautifully printed misprint. Um, so what do you think about this deck, Jeff? Uh, that's a rare blue pile. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm probably going with the. Uh, I'm probably going with the steam plugger. Something yeah. pretty straightforward. I think steam plugger yeah. is, is the real winner here. Easy. Easy. Although may, maybe some of the augmentable creatures are actually a better way to go. That I don't know. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, so the 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 ones that are uh, those are the ones that are unstable specific uh, are double sided like that. I see. So that's yeah. We got cool. another one here. Well, so. no, that's not true because the the squirrel. Squirrel is unstable. Oh, specific. aren't unstable specific. Yeah. So oh, okay, because yeah, thought anything, those aren't. I was like, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna open this pack. Squirrel dealer, one drop to raccoon, lizard bird. Deal when it, my squirrels like drugs. And when it enters the battlefield, you ask a person outside of the game, "Do you like squirrels?" If he or she does, create a one world green squirrel creature token. So, Ooh, so you get to create one one, one one squirrel because everyone loves squirrels, right? Yeah, Except this dude in high school that that he used to have like a blog and people used to read his blog in high school. And he wrote like a, a hate article about squirrels and how he wouldn't murder all squirrels. Yeah, it's um, weird. there's actually when I was in college, there was a guy who hunted a squirrel once and ate it. Um, so he probably still liked it because you know, one all with right. the one with the earth, you know, it nourished him. But um, but yeah, next up, Shaggy Camel can be augmented. It's a creature. Um, four drop when it ascends to the battlefield, creatures you control you know, get plus he one. Can, plus he one. said uh, he's starting to get thirsty. I think. Oh yeah, me too. My throat's probably throat's kind of getting parchy. I think. Are you, are you just seeing some nice. delicious? Yeah, Nick, yeah. if you're uh, if you're thirsty. And honestly, this honesty. Yeah. It's quite quenching as well. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Nick, there's there's a lot of things that can quench your thirst, but nothing can quench your thirst like Pellegrino That's or true. honest tea yeah. um, or whatever drink. Uh, our spot, our potential future sponsors, yeah, or, or whatever, or whatever beverage just sees fit yeah. to sponsor us in the uh, the immediate or not so immediate future. Yeah, um, you know, pretty pretty low cost. Yeah. to get to get us, but, but high reward uh, because of how you know how much we can pump you up. Yeah, but yeah. Here's the shaggy camel, um, mm. three three four drop, um, and all, the other creatures get plus one plus one. So this is just a generally good value card. Yeah, this you know? is probably actually. Maybe that's out of the kangaroo, my favorite like augmentable creature that we've we, the host creature, sorry, that we've seen so far. Um, yeah, I like that. Next up, magic words. Although I guess uh, I don't know. So it's yeah, this is the only one that enters the battlefield, right? Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Plus, you can make that happen multiple turns when you augment it. Right. So I'm into it. Magic word, three drop, enchant creature. As it enters the battlefield, choose a word, whisper the chosen word, tap enchanted target creature. So. <laughs> You know, this is kind of like, you know, unquenchable thirst, but you just gotta listen. You just gotta whisper a <laughs> yeah. word, you know, and just say, you know, yeah. I don't know. Um, whatever word you want. Yeah, whatever word you want. Um, who, who word would you pick, Mark? Um, I'm 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 kind of torn between two right now. Um, it's probably gonna be contract or killing. Ooh. Um, I that, think like actually, uh, a doozy for me. I think you go with like fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. Yeah. Is that one word? It's like hyphenated, right? So that yeah. counts as one word. Hyphen counts as one word. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. 
So yeah. Um, next up, subcontract. Uh, Ooh. One cost sorcery. A person outside the game looks at the target opponent's hand and chooses a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Um, so if you have good friends who care about your well-being in the game, who can pick a card, yeah, uh, this rewards having big stuff, knowledgeable friends. Yeah. Um, so. Which we do. We do. We do have knowledge. We do, friends. yeah. We can play this card and yeah. be uh, confident in the fact that they're going to help us out. Yeah. Or maybe okay. they're angry with us because we already beat them because we're so yeah. mad Yeah, I'd it. say yeah. our knowledgeable uh, friends are largely knowledgeable because they're our friends. That's true. And yeah. uh, osmosis, hanging out, talking, dissemination of knowledge. But, but like some of our friends do get pretty triggered when we beat them. Yeah, so yeah. it can be tricky. Um, next up, just another card we've seen. Fumbling... Fumbling Pangolin, um, be augmented. Yeah, um, they could also have like a better name. So. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Next one is go to jail, one drop. When go to jail enters the battlefield, exile target creatures yeah, and opponent controls important. until go to jail leaves the battlefield. At the beginning of the upkeep of the exile card owner, that player rolls two six-sided die. If he or she rolls doubles, sacrifice, go to jail. So pretty cool card. Interesting. Yeah, you know, just, you know, removal. Removal. Temporary. But, you know, rolling doubles isn't easy, so yeah. um, it's basically you need to roll one die. That's going to have a value. It's going to settle on a value. Then you have to roll another one. That's going to settle on the value. And, and have value to the same. The same value. Um, Good luck. A lot of multivariable calculus, linear algebra involved, quantum physics, but it's it's it, not as easy as it's it It's hard sounds. odds. Yeah. Hard odds. Yeah. I'd say rolling triples is probably easier. Um, <laughs> that may be true. Next up, Finder's Keeper. Six drop. It's sorcery. Destroy target creature, then assemble a contraption. So kind of except, uh, expensive, but when you think about it, you're kind of you kind of have contract this killing. This may be the contract killing. This is might be the contract set. killing. What is the effective, like, what are we putting as mana cost against Six. assembling a contraption? Um, That's probably at least two. Right? At least two. So maybe the effective mana cost is like four. Four. Maybe three. Maybe depending three. on how much you value yeah. contraptions. In a contraption heavy deck, I'd say three. Yeah. A less contraption, just kind of going more for removal. Four. So sit on a effective mana cost, 3.5. Okay. That's yeah. Good value yeah there. That's good. <gasps> um, is this is a card Jeff might be eyeing. I don't I, I, I don't. I think it's one I don't have. I don't know what seasons he has, but there, there are extremely slow zombie cards in this game. And there is one for each season. So this one is, I guess, spring. Spring. Yeah. So, so, so there's three, three, and there are two drop, but they uh, they deal damage after uh, they're dealt damage. So unlike uh, first strike, they have last strike. Yeah. So yeah. not. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Yeah. Because uh, this card is pretty cool, and yeah. there are multiple versions of it. Yes, they have a they have a, all the different seasons, and then. You can see this one is actually the last season they printed. On the bottom, it has like a, a bunch of N's and S, S's and then an exclamation point. And across all the cards, it says brain. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, next up, five drop, garbage elemental. Last strike wow. again, like Jeff just explained. This card is so good, I think. And battalion, whenever garbage elemental and at least two other creatures attack, target creature can't block this turn. So, six five. So, this card's actually five just drop. for. Probably so not a bad card. And if you've got a battalion going... Yeah, I don't think last year can visit uh, all that yeah. much uh, with the 6-5. Right. Uh, so far, my first pick. Next up is an Augment, Ninja. You may activate Ninja's Augment ability anytime you could cast an instant. So kind of flexible, and that is whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, um, you know, whatever's on the other side, I guess, right? right. So, hmm. so this kind of just gives you instant speed on whatever you're throwing on. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see like a mechan mechanic like that make its way into a, you know, the regular game. Uh, no, it says augments ability. So like you can augment it at any. You can like do the augment at any time. I think normally augmenting happens at sorcery speed. Oh, I in see. In this case, I see. I see. You get instant speed. Next up, teacher's pet two drop for a two one. You can sacrifice teacher's pet and pay three and search your library for a card with an augment. Combine it with target host you controlled and shuffle your library. So, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Like that one. Uh, now our rare boy. Ooh. The countdown is at one. A five drop sorcery. Players play a magic sub game, starting at one life and using their libraries as their decks. 
For the rest of the main game, if a source would deal damage to a player who didn't win the sub game, it deals double that damage to that player instead. Interesting. So you get to play like a separate game of Magic, and then if you win that, all player damage you're dealing out is double. So this basically, kind of you know, if you have a card with haste, um, and you go first, you know, you're you're going to be doing real well you for yourself, it. right? Because you, you uh, got it. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, what is it like in, in baseball? They used to do the All Star game and have everyone in the All Star game like have home field advantage for the World Series. Right. That's what this card is. Unless yeah. you play an All Star game, right? Um, our our featured land is beautiful island. Ooh. Look at that. It's you know I gotta say uh, the islands are pretty beautiful. All all the lands are pretty beautiful, but the swamp is the best. And I hope you run into one so we can show them because the the multitude of colors in the swamp are, are pretty crazy. Yeah. Then we're going to go to our contraptions. We have duplication device. Whenever you crank duplication device until the end of the turn, target creature becomes a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Hmm. So, pretty cool. Kind of like just copying. Yeah. And if your opponent's got a good card, like, he might be worried if he sees this coming up on the next crank. It's true. Um, yeah. And then twiddle stick charger. Kind of like Jeff's fiddle stick. Or... Fiddlesticks, code word? Fiddlesticks, yeah. Fiddlesticks, it's kind of close Twiddle to that. Fiddlestick, fiddlestick. Whenever mm -hmm. you crank Twiddlestick Charger, tap or untap target creature. So, kind of a very versatile contraption here. You yeah. can use it on your, your guys, use it on your opponent's guys. Um, I like it. And then our token, beautiful, we'll show you the back first, see if anyone can guess what it is. Um, looks pretty cool. You guessed right, it's a vampire. Um, so... Cool token. Cool token. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna I like it. Lumpkin's probably is gonna, Lumpkin's gonna take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause... Although it's a 2 2 with flying, and I don't think his deck creates any 2 2 flying. Well, he can, just, uh, he can just flip it around. Just flip it around. Flip it around and use that. Yeah, full, yeah. Art, full art vampire token. So. We're, we're, getting, a, we're getting requests for, yeah, it's for a, token up. Yeah, um, token up, hit a bong. Um, you know, maybe, maybe later on today, but. Uh, yeah, it it is legal, not it my legal, not yeah. my jam, but you know, it just makes me sleepy. I just yeah. pass out. To I each can't. to each their own. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Here, I mean, Jeff. Like, oh man, why are you starting to play? But I think uh, you should probably, you know, I'd say garbage elemental. Yeah, I think garbage right? elemental. Yeah. I like garbage elemental. Uh, although I do also like uh, duplication device. So yeah. between those two, for first pick here. Yeah. Put the zombie to the side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take zombie. Yeah. Yeah. All the zombie seasons gotta get him. This is uh, all the super boy. Is it? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Dude, Jackhammer likes getting token and for school. He's thirteen. Dude, barely, I mean, barely made the Twitch minimum age, which yeah. is great. Wel you, welcome to Twitch. Yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome to the platform. You know what? I mean, if you want to toke up, toke up. We can't condone underage toking, but yeah. uh, I'm not gonna frown on it. You know. Because I, I did it as a kid, too. Dude, power to you, bro. Yeah, man. Oh. Um, so, yeah, let's power to Multi-headed. Uh, just an augment. At the beginning of each, if you roll, die term. So, augment, pay five, reveal this card from your hand, combine it with target host, augment. So, this kind of just beefs your your guy up. Gives it plus four, plus four. Um, so, kind of like a pretty cool, pretty cool pretty augment. Strong, man. Just raw power. A lot of the cards we've seen, too, are like one-one. Well, at the beginning of your end, end step, if you roll the dice this turn. So, this goes into like the... Uh, the dice energy too, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Timeout, five drop, roll a six sided die, put target and online permanent into its owner's library just beneath the top X cards of that library where X is the result. Um, so, kind of just a way to, you know, your, your opponent's got something you don't Cycle like. Cycle out cards. Cycle out cards. You don't, you don't really see it though, so you're like, meh, I don't yeah. know what's happening. Cost five, it's kind of expensive. Yeah. Another dupe Kind of scene. expensive, doesn't affect the board, kind of a do nothing. Shaggy though. camel. You like the camel. It's shaggy. Yeah. It's a camel. It's a two humped camel. Yeah. Instead of a single humped camel. Hammer helper, four drop, gain control target creature until turn. I think we saw this one, right? Uh, yeah, I think we saw this card. So, Same thing with the next one, too. This next one. So, starting to see some dupes. I don't know how big this set is, but pretty pretty small. Um, no, dude, it's like a 216. Is it? Yeah, 216. Yeah, I guess we haven't seen a lot of cards I drafted. Ooh, ooh feisty. Uh, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. So this looks cool. So it's a five drop, two, one. Roll we'll six out of die. And uh, this creature deals damage equal to the result of target creature and opponent control. So, so kind of cool. It's, uh, you know, you get to deal some damage. You get a creature on the board. Maybe you augment it later. Keep dealing damage. I don't know. Kind of cool. Yeah. Pretty cool, yeah. It's a dino. It does damage. Poison a dice roll uh, mechanic. Another... 
Voracious Vacuum, three drop. When answer the outfield, put a plus plus one counter on a target creature. So there we go, like you said. Well, Mr. Jackhammer is now claiming to be drinking alcohol from an infant, which we clearly can't condone, especially yeah. for a 13 year old. Yeah. I also can't condone having a child at 13. Yeah, he's probably also drinking Milwaukee's best, which I can also <laughs> not. Sorry, we, if, we you can't, were, sorry we can't if you were thinking of sponsoring us. Uh, don't bother. We'll pass. We'll pass. pass. On the we'll pass. Best. We'll pass. Sorry. Uh, but you can contact Jackhammer33. Yeah, Jackhammer. <laughs> he will He will he Or she. Or she. Will take your sponsorship. We'll take, we'll take your Milwaukee's best sponsorship. So, like Jeff was mentioning yeah, earlier, Beast yeah, and Show. Beast and Show. Yeah, so this one looks a little prettier. Oh, man, we got to find the other yeah, one. Yeah, Jeff's going to grab the other one. Um, while Jeff does that, I'll just point out we got another Garbage Elemental. Um, so, really, really strong card. It was our. I think for both of us, that's, are a, that's back a different one, one. art as well, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, because it has mm, frenzy too. Uh, yeah. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Oh, they have different abilities. The same yeah. art, but different abilities. This oh yeah, is the that's other pretty one cool. Again. And they actually have different different strength too, oh, even at the same cost. So yes, yeah, so that's kind of the fun part about it. Is that even like duplicates aren't always actually duplicates. Which yeah, is kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. and then the beasts. Yeah, so let's put the beasts aside because that's pretty cool. And I hear the two beasts. So pretty cool stuff. Um, Jack Hammer wants a Jim Beam sponsorship. A Jim um, Beam? That's, you yeah. know, I shoot for the stars, man. Yeah. You know? Next up, uh, Augment, half squirrel, half whatever. Um, and minus one, minus zero. I mean, so minus is out of your creature uh, so I guess you in terms of attack. But whenever a non-creature token enters the battlefield, your uh, ability triggers. So yeah. maybe uh, in the case of like Pleisty Stegosaurus, where mm -hmm. you know, you, well, I don't know, you don't want to bring that thing down to yeah. a one-one. That's pretty useless. But could you attach? Yeah. Can you augment an opponent? And just kill him? No, no. Well, oh no, you can't kill it because it's, it's just Sorry. attack. Yeah, so it takes away from attack. So anything yeah. that's like a bigger augmentable, maybe this is a good good fit for it. Next up, Chittering Doom. Uh, four drop enchantment. Whenever you roll a four or higher on a die, create a one one green squirrel creature token. So yeah, so this is one of those ones where any time a die gets rolled, it doesn't say like you get to roll a die, but it plays into all these other things, rolling dice, and then boom, maybe you're creating some squirrels. Yeah, great sideboard card yeah. if your opponent's rolling a lot of die. Be like, hey, now it's gonna get a little more expensive. No, it's whatever you roll. Oh, whatever you roll. Oh, it's sorry. Whatever, yeah. Reading is hard. Ooh, um, ooh. Our rare boy now it's looks cool. cool. It's yeah. a better than one. Sorcery, a person outside the game becomes your teammate. Choose any number of cards in your hand on top of your library or on the battlefield under your control. Those cards become your teammate's hand, library, and permanents, respectively. So I don't know how this actually works. Like, do they get so a you turn? Basically, you basically, yeah, they, I think... Do they draw? Do you give them half your deck? What happens? Yeah, I guess they get to draw. So you're basically, like, getting double draws, right? Because I think it's, like, two a giant. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily oh, get... Oh, I see two, two heads there. So maybe yeah, you don't get, turn. like, uh, an extra turn, but you work turn together, and you cycle through the cards faster, right? Yeah. So you're, you're going wider, I guess, with this card, which is kind of cool. Pretty cool. Uh, um, if you have someone willing to play with you. Maybe, yeah. maybe you don't have friends. Maybe you just have an infant child. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, but you know, give them a couple of years, they'll be ready to play, yeah, play yeah. with you. So, and another beautiful island, yeah, another beautiful island, great card. Um, and then our contraptions is Gobble Goblin Slingshot. Whenever you crank Goblin Slingshot, creatures you control get plus two, plus zero until the end of the turn. Oh, I like that. So, that's my pick here, yeah. So, that's a pretty good contraption. Yeah. Um, and then the next one is whenever you crank Sundering Fork, destroy target artifact. So, mm, it's only really if an opponent has artifact type, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know. Um, I, I'm taking the slingshot. Yeah, that'd easy, be easy, easy. easy. And then our it's uh, hat crab zombies also think this is specific to unstable because it has an ad on the back. Yeah. Um, scratch any ad card for real ad card scent. So that is that is true. If you scratch something, it will your, smell like that. Thing. Your finger will smell like that thing. Yeah. Um, so try it with anything around you. Yeah. Uh, you might find some interesting smells that way. Yeah. So, what do you think your pack one pick one? Oh, yeah. Goblin Slingshot, man. Goblin Slingshot. Cool. So, Although I do like better than one, the yeah. idea of it, uh, but Goblin Slingshot yeah. for sure. Beautiful. Okay. So one coming up. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, we're doing great. I think we're about to hit the halfway point. Um, yeah, game packs. Course. Yeah. So. All right. Um, let's do this thing. Let's do it. Ooh, I uh, I played this card. Oh yeah, I think I drafted one too. Defective Detective. It's a three drop, two, one. Defective Detective can't be blocked, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then when it enters the battlefield, a person outside the game looks at target opponent's hand and chooses a card from it. That player reveals that card. So you get to see uh, one of your opponent's cards, hence the detective. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
They don't, they don't, they don't have to throw it away like that other card we saw, but... Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, we got some flavor text here. Nothing gets by her except the evidence, the motive, and the culprit. So, uh, she's not a very good detective, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Actually, this is this card's kind of sexist now. You know? Yeah. Like, is it like saying that women can't be good detectives? Because yeah. I think... I. I think women are very intuitive. I think they'd be great detectives. This they, is a this is offensive card. Yeah, it's you offensive know, card. Yeah, I'd, I maybe have the magic people just have a little more sens sensitivity yeah, when yeah, they're yeah. Kind of copy, make it their copy. Um, you know, they're really yeah, usually good just, about copy, but there's some implications here that, that I I, uh, yeah. I don't I don't support. Yeah, because it's like mm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She's defective though. Maybe it's just a robot, and the robot uh, is genderless. But yeah, then, then they should have it. it. Should have yeah. said it. Yeah, it's a human Ooh. spy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should have been like a. Uh, oh man, this is bad. Yeah, human yeah. spy. Yeah. Right, there's no. There's no digging out. I... So we're just gonna. We're just gonna move on eagerly. Yeah. Uh, to eager beaver. Eager beaver. Eager beaver. Uh, so eager beaver is a three drop, three two, uh, and then you may untap target permanent. Uh, whenever this guy enters the battlefield, it's a host creature. So again, you get to automate it, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, next up we have Old Guard, so a 2-drop, two 2-1. Two we love 2-drops here yeah. at Gentleman's Draft. Uh, and it has an ability as well, so you can pay 1 planes and tap it and target creature without, uh, tap target creature without remainder text. Remainder text is still any, uh, is still any italicized text in parentheses that explains rules you already know. Just like, uh, you can see for the text that said that. Uh, next up we have uh, Hazmat Suit, oh, cool. used, so it's a used Hazmat Suit. Uh, you get to enchant a creature, it gets plus two, plus one, and has menace whenever uh, a player's skin or fingernail touches the enchanted creature, that player loses two lives. So it's poisonous to your health. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know what? Get a pencil, use your eraser, tap yeah. that guy. Tweezers. Um, yeah. Um, maybe trick your opponent into tapping and say, you know, I'm like a little bit busy. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Do you mind tapping that? Maybe you can trick them one tap. Yeah. Into losing yeah. And, um, and uh, there's a regular hazmat suit card, if I recall correctly. Is it? That's unused, I think. So mm. um, I might be wrong, though. I, I mean, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Paniac. Uh, it's a creature. Brainiac. Three drop, zero, three. Have we already seen it? Mm. Nah, forget it. No, nothing, nothing special. So Squirrel showed up in the set. Again, we're, we're we're fans of squirrels. Squirrels here. are cool. We don't, squirrels we are don't cool. Murder and eat squirrels. We don't eat them, but if you do, uh, that's okay. Mark knows. Yeah. We don't write angry blog posts about squirrels and nope. call them uh, rats in the trees. That would that's kind of mean. Um, but right here we have a snickering squirrel. Squirrels. It's like a squirrel king. He's laughing it's at a little you. Little drink breaks. My um, throat's getting kind of parched. And you can attack him, or you can tap him and increase the result of a die any player roll by one. So this guy plays right into the die roll mechanic. You know, if you're looking for a four, you roll a three, tap this guy, it adds one extra, and bam, maybe you're dealing, you know, damage. Yeah, and if you're really going to try, you the you're gonna try to leverage that, you might want like a little, a little like cheat sheet where it's like, okay, if I apply this card to a one, I get a two. To a two, I get a three. To the three, I get a four. To the four, I get a five. To the five, I get a six. And to the six, six I get a seven. seven. So you want to be careful because like, Magic might be taxing you, might be a lot of stuff going on. Just kind of have it on the side. It's just a little reference, a little cheat yeah, sheet. Yeah, a little cheat sheet. You know, kind of like your professor in college. With the plus ones, the plus yeah. plus. You know? um, we always encourage people to just have reference, you know, make the game fun. I thought you were going to say we encourage people to cheat. Yeah, no, no cheating. It's called a cheat sheet, but literally it's just adding one to another number. But, you know, yeah, nonetheless. You know, sometimes it can be difficult. Yeah, it's not next easy. Up. Next up, we have Work a Double. So it's a sorcery. Assemble two contraptions uh, for the cost of four. Two red and two of any. Uh, so again, if we believe that the uh, effective mana cost of assembling is like two, mm -hmm. then or the effective mana cost of this card is zero. Zero. Beautiful. Because you get to assemble two contraptions. So yeah. it's essentially a free card. It's a great card. If you're, if you're doing anything red, like yeah. this, this is a, a must. Ooh, we have another beast in show. So we have oh, a cool. third Beast in show. Nice. This one is also a six drop, also a six four, also with trample. Put, I think put. that's. Uh, I think it seems like their uh, abilities, and uh, this is the new guy this here. This angry boy. Oh, this angry boy. Yeah. Right. I know we have multiple fingers pointing, but it's the one. Yeah, it's on the, the end. It's this one. This one. <laughs> uh, so. It's the green one. It's the green oh, one. Yeah. So the six, trample. The six four trample one. Yeah. 
right, but that's pretty cool. So we got, we've seen three of those cards out. Uh, we also have Shellifant. Mm. Uh, so this is an elephant. It's a creature, turtle, and or elephant. So it could be either. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pay zero, and then you choose one. Uh, you may activate this ability while Shellifant is in any zone. Uh, so Shellifant has a base power and toughness of 1-4 or 3-3, three, three, and it has question mark, question mark there. So you get to pick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. I'm into it. Very cool. Uh, next up, we have what's called first pick. So this may be our first pick. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it's an instant. I haven't seen this card. It's a four drop instant. You get to destroy target artifact or enchantment and assemble an attraction. So again, if the, the situational removal for artifact or enchantment, you always want to remove a creature, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah. Maybe if it would like destroy a contraction or something, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, Weakish instant. Uh, next up, we have Teacher's Pet. So uh, it's a creature. It's a cat bird scientist. We've seen this one yeah, before. We've already seen it. We don't need to talk about it. Ooh, this card I like. Our rare card I think is very interesting. Oh, nice. Uh, so it's called Hydra Doodle. It's a creature, Hydra, Hound. Uh, as Hydra Doodle enters, enters the battlefield, roll X six sided dice. Hydra Doodle uh, enters the battlefield with a number of 1 1 counters equal to the total of those results. And it also has Reach and Trample. So it's two green and two X's. So, you know, maybe you can roll four dice for this thing. And yeah. then, you know, it could become really powerful if you yeah. get rolls from it. Or it could be a four, four. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. at worst, it'd be a four, four. Too. Yeah. So. Well, XX. So I guess you don't have to, then how much would you have to spend to cast that thing? I feel like uh, you'd be spending 10 to cast a four, four. So that'd be kind of sad. Yeah. Could be, could be messy. I don't know. It's a messy card, but I like it. Uh, another Man, we have, oh, we are yeah. heavy on the island. Heavy on the island. It's a beautiful island card. Just as beautiful as the last one we actually saw. I'm going to just bring it out here for comparison. There's a few, couple of subtle differences for the discerning eye there. Um, you know, if I do this, maybe it's, it's a little easier to see. Um, Those differences. Yeah. So, yeah, the different. you kind of do this a little bit. Maybe a little, little different. So, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful cards. Um Next up, we have, actually have a mythic here. Uh, wow. It's called Hard Hat Area, the contraption. Whenever you crank Hard Hat Area, roll two six sided die. Hard Hat Area assembles a number of contraptions equal to the difference of those results. So that is incredible. Uh, that card's awesome. If you're assembling contraptions, this thing is just going to over and over and over again assemble contraptions for you, which is pretty great. And then actually, another Head related card is Headbanger. It's a contraption. Whenever you crank Headbanger, target creature must be blocked this turn if able. So if you have a strong creature, you want to kill something, you know, you force your opponent's hand. Mm -hmm. And then finally, our oh, beautiful wow. token. We have someone who's going to be uh, happy, one of our viewers. Um, Hat Crab Zombie. Um, here we go. Um, actually, since this is actually a, a requested card, I think it's important we keep the quality of this card preserved. And put and, it into a high map. And put it in a high map. Very reliable sleeve uh, format. Um, Hat Crab Zombie. Uh, come, you can come redeem your prize. Yeah. Dave, we're gonna just Jeff's gonna go on and slide it in there, nice and easy. Yes. Yeah. So, we're, we're, we're protection. Going, we're going shiny side up, just because you know we oh. like we like to see the foil. We like to see that color change. But, yeah. uh, but you know the the full full art on the other side is also also quite, quite gorgeous. Amazing. We're gonna actually set that aside, ready yeah. to go for you. So so yeah so I, I think um, I think I guess it's between these two right? Uh, I, no, I'm taking the Hydra. Yeah, the I think Hydra. I'm gonna do the Hydra. As much as I like Hard Hat Area, I mm -hmm. think uh, I think you really have to have a lot of contraptions to to make it pay off. So I'm gonna put the shelf into the side. My fiance really likes elephants, so I'm gonna put that to the a, side. That's a fair call. Uh, yeah, let's uh, stack these up. Yeah, so it's a good pack. Good. Pack. All right, unstable lands to your best to worst. All right, so we got Nick Heavy. We got some 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 people giving their opinions on lands here. So best to worst according to Nick Heavy: Island, Mountain, Forest, Swamp, Plains. Don't at him. All right, um, he doesn't want to hear your opinion because frankly, it's your opinion, but yeah. he thinks it's wrong. Yeah, and I think so, he, I think he's wrong, unfortunately. Yeah. If you're talking about the ones that will look the best, I think the Swamp. Swamp's like, up there, yeah. The swamp I, I generally agree with you, Kevy. Um, but, you know, but in this case, it's hard to. Yeah. Anyhow, this is a great card. Really epic punch. Uh, two drop. Target creature control gets plus two, plus two if it's a host or has augment. Then it fights target creature you don't control. 
kind of like a the best part of this card is it's a bear punching something in the face. Um, so just for style points, um, I I I'd, I'd do that. You know. Yeah. Ooh. Humming. Humming. So whenever you attack with two or more creatures, uh, you get to trigger the uh, the host creature's ability. This card also gives it flying and then plus, plus two, two plus, plus three. three. This is a so great augment. This is an awesome, awesome augmentation. Awesome. I love it. Uh, yeah. So if we have, I mean, if I've got an augment out, but I'm, I'm eyeing that as yeah. my first pick because it only takes four to, four to, uh, to uh, augment as well. Another slightly sexist card. Uh, yeah. We'll just we'll leave it at that. We don't even want to give this card any attention, you know? It's um, upsetting. It's upsetting. Stingy Scorpion. Uh, five drop can be augmented. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, Target creature and opponent controls gets minus 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 one minus one until the end of the turn. So, yeah, um, pretty cool card. Scorpions are pretty pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. does it? It's a no no cool abilities. I, you you would think yeah. a scorpion would have death touch, right? Come yeah, because like a lot of them just in in real life, not even just in the magic, you know, lore just and universe. Scorpions just and scorpion have like, death touch. Yeah, yeah. I I'd, I'd avoid scorpions. Um, next up is it that gets left hanging. Six drop five four. When it that gets left hanging enters the battlefield, ask a person outside the game to high five you. If he or she won't, it gets that left hanging gains haste until the end of the turn. So, you know, maybe this is a good one to have an enemy so, around. You yeah, know, someone so, who doesn't like you, someone yeah. who hates high fives. Um, yeah, maybe like uh, you just talk trash on someone real quick, and then you ask them to high five you based on your trash talk. Yeah, like, they won't do it. Like, this guy gets you know, hate. Screw you. Screw you. You suck. If you agree with high me, high five, five me. If you agree that you're an awful, terrible human being. Yeah. Nobody likes. But some people like that trash talk too, so it's, yeah. hard, to, it's hard to tell. It's hard, hard, it's hard to, to tell. tell. Um, so next up we have Selfie Preservation. Cute card. Uh, it has koalas and a peacock in it. Two drop. Sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card and reveal it. If there's a tree in its art, Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Um, it's kind of like a, a tutor, a tutor for a land card. Yeah. Two drop. If you got nothing better to play, it's kind of cool though. Yeah. Is that we have a card right behind it with a tree in its background. Yeah, um, but it's only basic lands, unfortunately. But this card does have a tree in it. It's a two drop. Target Minotaur. Um, two one has prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one plus one until the end of the turn. So. Pretty cool card, um, yeah. you know. If you, if, you this, this, if this was just in a regular set, I'd be like, you know, I, I'd pick it. I'd be fine playing it. Yeah. Half kit and half something. Um, you've seen this one already, right? Mm, no, I don't think so. No, we saw uh, the cute kitten. Triggers whenever you're dealt damage. Um, okay, so whenever you're dealt damage, then you plus get one to, plus two. Yeah. So pretty cool card. Oh, this is the one. We have the one with the the head on the table coming up next. Oh yeah. Yeah. This next card's up, great. Skull saucer, six drop. Zombie head, 4-1, it's flying. When Skull Saucer enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and put your head on the table. Sacrifice Skull, skull Saucer when your head stops touching the table. So, so it's a 6 drop, plus it's removable, uh, but it's removable and a 4-1 flying body. Uh, I really like this card outside of the fact that you have to keep your head on the table. Yeah. It makes it really hard to see the battlefield, uh, but it does make it humorous for passers-by mm -hmm. to witness you play. Right. They also might think you're like, physically broken and uh you know might refrain from making fun of you if they don't know you but if they know yeah. you and they know you're not physically uh incapable of lifting your head off the table then yeah you, you, you might just be having a bad day you, you know you might want to just yeah. let them know like, i can't play magic i'm not actually in pain i'm not hurt i'm okay by contrast if you do have like a, a disease that forces you to not be able to lift up your head i feel i'm, I'm sorry first of sorry. all sorry but um Drink some, Maybe. drink some Pellegrino. Yeah, Maybe drink some Pellegrino good. and play this card because yeah. I'm like, you kind of have an advantage a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Next up, two drop, uh, Kindly Cognition, one three. Uh, spells that you cast that refer to artifacts or contraptions in their rules tech cost one less to cast. So, um, you know, if you're doing a little text analysis and you see artifacts and contraptions and a lot of those, like, you know, might as well, might as well throw that in. Uh, next up, a cool card, actually. It is another target Minotaur, but I guess this one has seasons or spells Ooh, being cast and, on him as well. And, and shiny. a shiny common. Um, Wait, so he has different seasons? Oh, yeah. 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 Like, look at that. It's, uh, it's winter in that one. Yeah, it's winter it's in frozen that one. Up. So really cool. Really beautiful card. Um, yeah, I like it. Does it also have prowess? Or does yeah, it have different it's prowess. Ability? Yeah, same exact same card, card, just different, different art. All right. Um, so pretty cool. Um, hey, Elgato, con la pipa. Um, thanks for joining us. That's me. <laughs> 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 I 
Next up, our rare boy, six drop, Gravely, Graveyard Busy Body. I almost didn't pronounce that right. Six drop, asterisk, asterisk. All graveyards are also your graveyards. Graveyard Busybody's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards with flavor text in your graveyard. Ooh, and pretty much every card in the set has flavor text. Yeah, so this card can, get, this card can get pretty don't. crazy. There we go. Yeah, some of them... Some of them can't... Oh, did we see this, like, garbage elemental can't be blocked by wordy creatures? A creature is wordy. It has four more lines of rules text. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Anyways, we didn't read that. Anyway, bad, but, um, uh, new land. Uh, Nikevi's not a fan of these, but um, I think they're great. Jeff thinks they're great. Swamp. Uh, great card. Um, yeah, these are so beautiful. Nikevi is so wrong about this card. Yeah. It's the only card that has multiple colors in it. Like, every other card is, like, monochrome blue, monochrome green, monochrome yellow, which, like, orange-ish. But this one has that, like, black, uh, blue, purple... Uh, I think it's a very beautiful card. Beautiful card. Next up, quick stick. Whoa, Nikevi, I believe you did. I believe in your rankings, uh, yeah. you put it fourth. I mean, and, and planes is so bad that yeah. it might as well. It's obviously last. So you pretty much said swamps is the worst. Yeah, and that's uh, a, that's pretty upsetting. It's pretty offensive. Okay, so he's he's now doing like a Japanese style ranking system. Oh, Island is. Um, uh, I see. Island is S tier. Okay. All right. So Rest he's saying that. You saying that Islands is like above all else, and the then you have those middle guys, yeah. uh, and then B2. you know planes are just like kind of yeah. Right now. Is there? Would you say Island is triple S? Triple S is kind of something that's new. Is that is that in, better than in S? Japanese games? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really understand the ranking system, mm-hmm. but uh, but whatever is the best, I guess, is what Nikevi's trying to say. Yeah, uh, he's just trying to say he really likes the Island guards. He um, just likes the others more. You know what? Yeah. That's fine. You're entitled to your yeah. opinion, and we're entitled to tell you that you're wrong. Yeah, exactly. That's why this uh, is great. Personally, I think the swamp's the nicest, nicest looking yeah. one. But uh, okay. ever, a lot of people have an affinity for the island, uh, so so we'll give that to you. It is a very good looking card. It's up contraption, quick stick li- lick trick. Uh, whenever you crank quick stick lick trick, it's uh, quite a doozy. Target creature gets plus one plus one and gains life link until the end of the turn. So. Um, Pretty cool. Guys, uh, just, I just want to point out Jack Hammer, 33, is back. He just showered. Oh, nice. <laughs> what, what packs? Uh, or maybe he didn't shower. And yeah, what, smoked in the shower. What packs, but... what packs are you opening? You're opening on Stable Jack. Um, up next, Auto Key. We've seen this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, just crank it, get, tap it, get plus three life. Um, Nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. And then uh, just a, a gnome. It is, according to Hackcraft Zombie, it is unstable specific because it has a little cool thing on the back. Um, and this is true, this is not black and white. Yeah. Uh, so, what do, you, what do you think your pack one I mean, one here is? I'm going to pick Graveyard Busybody. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think the ability, or, uh, you know, its power and toughness thing is kind of kind of cool. So. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, so, okay. Well, yeah. so you take over Graveyard. So, like, all graveyards are also your graveyards. If you have yeah. any cards, graveyard abilities, and like you get to yeah. drop in your opponent's graveyard, so potentially this actually has that like, is more... like Scarab God, but way better. Um, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I, agree. I have to agree. Yeah, so that's why I had to put the silver border. It means you can't play, especially with this card. They so he's gonna open a Rage Cluster booster box. I I'm pretty knowledgeable about magic. I don't know what that is, but maybe Jeff does or. No, I have no idea. But cool, dude. Have fun. Let us know if you get any good shiny cards. Yeah, why don't you? Um, you know what? Yeah. Just, or uh, post post a link in the chat. To yeah, the, if you want to, you know. To the want. to the booster box. We yeah. Can, we can check it out later. Yeah. Um, you know, we can check out your vods. Yeah. Just make sure your vods are on. We can make sure it records. Yeah, we, we did not have them on for our first broadcast. But, it's true. You yeah. know, it was it wasn't a bad moment though. It was our brightest time. Um, it was our brightest time. Yeah. So. So yeah, have fun with that. Let us know. Is, it, is that 36 in the box? Um, it's a, be a lot of cards for you to go through. Um, so yeah. All right, yeah. First up in this pack, we have a timeout. And it's, it's an instant. You roll six on a die, pick target non-land permanent into its owner's library. Just, we already, we already read this one. Yeah. I remember this one. Yeah. Uh, we also have Mother Kangaroo again, which again, I like, especially if you can uh, trigger that dice roll ability every turn. You can pump this guy up really quick. Or this lady up. It's Mother. Mother, yeah. yes. So there's yeah. a squirrel on its back too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have riveting rigor. Uh, we already seen this one. Yeah. 
We already saw go to jail. Oh, this is the dupe pack. Dupe pack. We already saw go to jail. Sad days. But uh, we haven't seen Big Boa Constrictor. It's a mm. host creature snake. And then when it enters the battlefield, you roll six sided die. Target opponent loses life equal to the result. Mm. Sort of like dealing damage to your opponent. Uh, worded a little bit differently, but essentially the same thing. Very cool. Um, if that gets left hanging, is also a card you've already seen. If your friends won't high five you, then that's a good thing. Yeah. Time around. If you do not have friends or people hate you, um, this is actually probably one of the few times in life that that's actually a good thing. Yeah. A good situation to be in. So, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, Novella, me- Novella Mental. Mm-hmm. So, like, uh, kind of like a novel elemental. Yeah. Uh, novella Elemental. Uh, it has flying. It's a 2-1, two, 2 drop, and it can't, I can only block creatures with flying. I actually like this card. Mm-hmm. I think it's cheap for flying. Uh, at the end of the day, you're still playing magic, even right. though it is an unset, and you still need to deal damage. Right. And flying is always something you want to play with. Mm-hmm. Um, we've already seen, uh, well, we've seen First something. Back. Back. No, no, it was, it was a different one, because oh, the yeah. watermark was different, but essentially the same. This one's called Secret Base. Uh, it had, oh, actually, I guess they're all called Seeker Base, but they have different watermarks. Watermarks, but, yeah. Okay. So, cool. yeah, Seeker Base, basically, if you have a, a watermark, it shares with it. You can add any color or mana to mm-hmm. your to play that. Um, next up, we have uh, Quark's Other Thumb. thumb. So, okay. Quark lost his thumb. This is Other Thumb. Which you probably uh, lost, too. If is. you would roll a die, instead it roll two of those dice and ignore one of those results. So, wow. it doubles your dice rolls. Um, this is a great artifact. If... If something triggers off of dice rolls, this is very useful to you. Yeah, um, you, can, you can go high or low. There's, there's actually a card that, like, uh, when you have, like, 100 dice rolls, you win the game or something like that. There's, like, a card in here like that that we saw during draft. And uh, this, this goes a long way to help out with that. Yeah. Um, Cog Mentor. Uh, so it's a one-drop with flying, 1-1. One, one, um, and for four, it can reassemble target contraption you control. So I guess you can move it to a different... Uh, a different what they called uh, sprocket, sprocket if you want to yeah it's kind of cool um, next up we have stream, uh, steam flogger temp uh, have you ever seen this one I don't no think I don't think so we've seen a steam flogger okay it's a two drop uh, two one and then you can pay six and tap it and it uh, assembles a contraption so it has contraption assembly plus it's a body Very so cool. oh, horrible card I like it Very I like cool. playing red and then we have a rare, which is act- actually a mythic rare. Whoa. Old Buzzbark. Uh, so it's a legendary creature, goblin warrior. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, roll X six-sided dice onto the battlefield from a height of at least X inches for each die. Put a number of 1-1 one, one counters equal to the result on each creature you control. Uh, that die is touching. Hmm. The die has to be touching a creature. Yes, yeah. You control. Okay. Um, for each die, old, bu- old Buzzbark deals damage equal to the result to each creature an opponent controls that die is touching. So if it's landed, if it's landed on either your creature or an opponent's creature, it does something good for you. Otherwise, it does nothing. Uh, by the way, X comes from what you pay to put it on the battlefield. So it's green, red, and then X. So whatever you want it to cost. Um, yeah. So pretty cool uh, card. Pretty cool card. Yeah. Uh, I think that's my, my pick one. Yeah. Uh, just because it seems like an interesting mechanic. And then we have a beautiful mountain. Beautiful mountain. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Finally, not an island, even though islands are, you know, according to NECAP, S rank. S tier. S tier. Uh, we have Target Rocket as our first contraption. Uh, so whenever you prank Target Rocket, Target Creature blocks this turn of able. So mm-hmm. you, you can force a creature to block and essentially yeah. kill it uh, if, if you want to. Um, next up, you have. Buzz Buggy. Uh, whenever you crank Buzz Buggy, target creature gets plus two plus zero and gets trampled until the turn. I, thought, I think we already saw one or someone something Maybe similar, something similar yeah. to it. Just a little little buff. And then our token is actually a beautiful angel token. Yeah, start start at the back just to kind of look at that. Give you a little light thing. Look at that. About you know, kind of like kind of like a Valkyrie right there, and then boom, shiny angel. Beautiful card. So beautiful. pack one, pick one. I think I'm picking uh, old Buzz Bark, but um, if I got this pack later on, yeah, uh, and I did a dice synergy, I'd actually maybe do uh, Crux of the Thumb. Crux of the Thumb, yeah. 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 If, if that's something that would help you out. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I'm exactly with you there. Um, I need to go 
Buzz Bark, he's got an M on it. My, the, my name starts with M. Um, so naturally, there's, there's all, some, all good things. There's a synergy there. Yeah. Um, you know, none of my names contain them. Yeah. You know, that, and you've got you've got a lot of names. Uh, you know, maybe next time. Um, Starting the pack time. with Eager Beaver. I'm not sure you've seen this one. We've seen Eager Beaver. Yeah. So he's an Eager Beaver. Just some tap target creature, three drop. Which is not a bad card. Old Guard. I think we've also seen. Um, yeah. You know, Big set, but it seems like we're, even though we're just on our eighth booster, we're kind of... repeats. I don't know. This is a new one. Wall of Fortune. Two drop. It's a defender. So it's zero four. You may tap an untapped wall you control to have any player reroll a die that player rolled. So, again, trigger the die roll abilities with this guy. Um, and you can have a good time. Yeah. Win the game quick. Uh, another Scorpion, which we've got some issues with, given it doesn't have Death Touch. So I wouldn't pick this just for that, just yeah. in principle of the matter. Not very brave. Um, uh, we've already seen the left hanging. Yeah, so, you know, this again, if you don't have friends, um, you know, this card wouldn't be good for me or Jeff, naturally. Um, People always want to high five us. Yeah, they, our hands are, by the end of the week, they're Callous, worn born. out, worn out. I need um, a hand massage for 45 minutes with yeah. high fives. Next up, Despondent Killbot. I don't think we've seen this one. Two drop for 2-1. Pretty basic. Actually, just regular. Yeah. Um, then we have a no main engine, another dupe, um, and then another dupe, but a pretty exciting dupe yes. is Crack's other thumb. Yeah. So imagine double up on those. Double up. Then on you those. double double your die rolls. So yeah. So cool. yeah, you're kind of you're kind of doing to the end here, maybe right? Um, depends on. I guess you would just end on the other one. Yeah. Um, so really complicated math there. Um, I could start going into it, but unless you have a PhD in theoretical mathematics, you Probably wouldn't be able to follow along. Probably not. So we'll just we'll skip over it. We'll yeah. Maybe do like a like a video and premiere it some other time on some platform or something. Um, next we have an augment monkey hyphen. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, um, then you get to then you get to do whatever. Yeah. Plus two, plus two. So pretty good. Pretty cool card. Monkeys yeah. are cool. Um, next up, druid of the sacred beaker. Dear cool. bird ape druid. Yeah. So he's he's a lot of things. Three, but he's a three drop, two two, and tap him to add forest to your mana pool. Uh, for each crossbred breed labs watermark you control. So I guess that's why double neck beaker. Double neck beaker. So the crossbreed labs. I guess that's that's where that comes from. Um, now our rare boy is oddly uneven. Um, choose one. It's a five drop. Choose one. Destroy each creature with an odd number of words in its name. Okay. Um, or destroy each creature with an even number of words in its name. Yeah, so if you have a, a bunch of odd or even creatures, and your opponent has the opposite, this card is for you. Pretty cool. Our, Ooh, our land here, beautiful. Beautiful. It has a tree in it. Oh, wow, this is pretty. This is a pretty funny coincidence. Yeah. Um, uh, so we are, are shiny here. We actually have a shiny yeah. rare, um, and it's a Oddly sick, uneven. Oddly uneven. Yeah, so, so it's actually it doubled up on us. doubled up. So we have, in this pack, we got two oddly, two rare boys. And we got a shiny rare boy. Um, so that is pretty cool. Pretty uh, exciting. You know, I was like thinking like, damn, me and Jeff are going to have to like be really gentle with me about this, but it would be pretty easy. But no, it's pretty easy. Mark has to shine me every yeah. time. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I think we should actually hype him out this one. But you think, I think Jeff, we should hype him out. Yeah. We should hype him out. While Jeff does that, I'll talk about our first contraption, Deadly Poison Sampler. Whenever you crank Deadly Poison Sampler until then, turn, ooh, that card, I'm not worried about it anymore. Even if one can, ooh, ooh, you don't ooh. care. Even if one can's walked in with a bottle of water, I would not Spill be worried about that card. Yeah, fine. that card would be protected. So whenever you crank this contraption until the end of the turn, target creature gains. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy target creature that player controls. So basically, give someone death touch. Yeah. Well, um, right. Uh, no. Whenever you crank until uh, the end of the turn, target creature gains. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a. Uh, Oh, player. To a player. Yeah, so it has to do a common damage Sorry. to a player. That's so one of your flyers if you if you uh, you know deal damage with the flyers like that. Boom flinger. Whenever you crank boom flinger, roll two six sided die, boom flinger deals damage to target player equal to the difference between those rolls. I think we've seen something like this. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. complaining about the difference issue we were running into. Yeah. Um, and then got a token. Uh, it's beautiful. There's the non shiny side, and here's the shiny side. Ooh, it's a beast. So it's a beast. Um, so if you're rolling Rolling beast synergies, do you have beast tokens? 
Um, Beast Boys. Beast Boys. That the is, Beastie Boys. Is yeah, Beastie Boys. It's a great card. So, uh, you know, for me, uh, I think I'm going with the the Deadly Poison Sampler. Deadly Poison Sampler. Okay. That is yeah. If you got since you've got a bunch of flyers, like you said, that's pretty cool. You pretty much have good removal. Yeah. Because uh, it's like Death Touch, but when you hit the player, they really can't kill your flyer. It basically turns creature you have into like a pseudo glory bringer. Uh, yeah, Warbringer essentially kills something every turn almost. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, let's put our rare boys in the rare boys stack. Rare boys stack. Okay, it's a beautiful land in the land stack. All right, now we're right, at final oh, pack. Last pack. Pretty pretty exciting time. It's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So unstable, kind of kind of a weird set, but it's a weird set, but it's pretty cool. Cards. Cool. We're uh, we're truly excited for rivals. Yeah, rivals uh, to come out. This is only our holdover. Yeah, the yeah, we're 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 waiting with bated breath. We'll actually be doing a kind of a pre-release event. It's not going to be on pre-release weekend, but it'll probably be the following Tuesday when we get back to work. We're gonna have some pre-release boxes. We're just planning to open them, um, build some decks, build some decks, talk about the cards. We'll have some special guests, um, just to kind of like compliment um, Jeff and Jeff the knowledge that Jeff and I have about the game. We'll kind of yeah. just bring in a little bit, bring in some other opinions. Um, you know, and but don't worry, all of them will agree that the effect of mana cost of the contract killing is three, so no so, worries there. Yeah, I mean, some people haven't bought in yet, but they yeah, will. They will. Um, once they're starting to see the light. They're starting to see the light. So let's go on this last pack. Happy to see we haven't gotten this card yet. Numbing jellyfish can be augmented as a four drop. Um, whenever it ends with the battlefield or the triggered effect, is roll a six sided die. Target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard where X is a result. So, so you, uh, you want to mill? You cause your, cause your opponent to mill. If you want to mill, if you want, if you want, to, if you want them to get rid of their thing, imagine pairing this with a Grax Other Thumb Ooh. or a Garrett, whatever, whatever yeah, his yeah. name is. He's just going to trigger a bunch of die rolls. Yeah. Hmm. So another dupe, but I'm okay with it being a dupe because Bears Punching Things. Cool bears Punching Things is pretty cool. Um, humming, another dupe. Um, so plus two, plus three. Flying. This is this is a great augment. It is a great augment. I, mean, I, mean, uh, it's, I think it's the best one we've seen. Yeah, pairing this with the one where it's like the deal traction where you deal damage to your opponent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really sick. Um Comic Guana. We haven't seen this. Host creature you may discard a card if you do draw a card. So uh pretty cool. Two drop for a one three. Pretty um, pretty normal ability bad. though. Nothing too special but you know easily playable. Easily yeah. So it's a cool card. Another snickering squirrel. Looks funny looking squirrel guy. So Box of free range goblins. So if you're into organic, you're into giving you know your goblins more than just you know their eight square inches of yeah. space. Uh, this Man, is a great card. Eight square inches. Uh, six drop sorcery. Roll a six sided die. Create a number of one one red goblin creature tokens equal to the result. This is the one where I cannot, I couldn't get anything going. Yeah, that sucks. Because uh, that's potential. Just flood the board, right? Yeah. Um, next up, Mad Science Fair Project. It's a three drop artifact. You tap it, you roll a six-sided die. On a three or lower, target player adds uh, colorless mana to his or her pool. Otherwise, that player adds one mana of any color he or she chooses to his or her mana pool. So, you know, I could say either of these are pretty good, you know. So, so that, that card, uh, it got played against me, and uh, it was used as, like, a catalyst to be able to cast a, uh, a spell. Uh-huh. And it took, like, five turns oh, yeah. to, for, to get that one any color mana. Oh, I see. Kept me alive in the game. Okay. Which I eventually lost. Yeah. But it seems like a pretty cool, it's cool though. generic, yeah. you know, it gives you a lot of mana, right? If, yeah. you're, if you're looking for a specific result, luck might not be on your side. You might not get exactly what you want. Yeah. Essentially, it's adding, you're, you're ramping up your mana, which I, I think is always useful, even if it's colorless, even if it comes out colorless every turn. Mm -hmm. More or less, one drop, instant, add or subtract one or one, one or one. From a number or number word on a target spell or permanent until the end of the turn. Um, so you can just get rid of the number one or the word one from a number or number word on a target spell or permanent until the end of the turn. So interesting. So um, you could like turn so something that has like no life, right? Right. When they cast a spell that like causes you to die roll and then you get that num that many uh, one one counters. You can take away the second one in that, and then that creature dies instantly because it didn't get any colors. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, so I see a so lot of, a lot of tricky uses for that. Yeah. Uh, next up, another shell effect. Um, I like it. So it's cool. Cool card of a lot of things. 
Um, another Cogmentor. Cogmentor. I've seen this one. Uh, so pretty cool. Another dupe, but this time shiny. So pretty cool. The Voracious Vacuum. Beautiful shiny card. And then next up, our, our rare boy. Oh my god. This is like, this is a bomb card. This is a bomb card. So Animate Library. Six drop. Enchant your library. Enchanted library is an artifact creature on the battlefield with power and toughness each equal to the number of cards in it. It's still a library. If enchanted library would leave the battlefield, exile anima animate library instead. So this is a bomb. This is a bomb. This is a total bomb. First pick, easy. First every pick, time. easy. Um, then we have our a beautiful forest. You know, we, forest. we did not see any. Um, we just saw mountains. We saw plains. We saw swamp. Yeah, we got we got at least one of everything. Yeah. And then our contraptions here are widget contraption. Whenever you crank, it assembles a contraption. So this is pretty cool. Recursive. Recursive contraption building. Like we got mostly like three islands, three forests, and then one of the rest. Yeah. Top secret tunnel. Whenever you crank top secret tunnel, target creature can't be blocked this turn. So I think we've seen this one before. And then our token that, is that that is a pretty a beautiful, pretty cool. beautiful dragon. Look at that shiny boy. Oh yeah. Um so, yeah. Yeah, so I think, you know, that, that last one's an easy pick for me. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, check, I'm taking Enemy Library every time. It's the bomb. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Um, so, so yeah, um, unfortunately, we... No shiny lands. No shiny lands, um, and no more packs to open. Yeah, um, that is our time. So, you know, we, we hope you guys and gals enjoyed watching the show. Um, you know, we had a we had a huge, huge host. We have about twenty thousand viewers right now, so um, it's great to see all the all the new blood um, on the stream. Yeah. Um, like, comment, follow, subscribe, donate down below. Um, we'll be doing some rival stuff real soon. We're gonna be doing a pre-release thing. We're gonna be doing a gentleman's draft on the whole booster box. It's true. Probably gonna be a at least a multi-multi-day multi 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 affair. Um, but we're really excited. If you've been following any of the the spoilers coming out from from Wizards. Some, some some really exciting cards. Some really cool cards. Uh, it seems like Merfolk are get, blown up. Get or won this Christmas. How about that? Yeah, they, they um, won the Christmas. For so sure. you know, but I I don't need much. And you know, I got my I got my Pellegrino here. Got got Jeff, my wonderful co-host. Yeah, um, my honesty though. Yeah. I drank it all because it was so irresistible. Yeah. It'd be great if they could send him you know a, a nice you know cash sponsorship and a box of honesty. Yeah, um, you know, and, and if that's not a possibility, Pellegrino, the offer. Yeah, the Pellegrino, you, Pellegrino, you are our, our number one. If you could get us someone, one. Pellegrino, yeah. I would be eternally grateful. Uh, yeah. I feel like we've, we've earned a sponsorship, but if you don't feel that way, we're going to work on you some more. Yeah, we're, we, don't, we don't expect it to be easy because we, we think we see Pellegrino as a, uh, a S tier. Yeah, I think everyone would put it. Yeah. S tier sponsor. S tier uh, sponsor. Yeah. Uh, overall, you know, not yeah. even just beverage sponsor. Yeah, just uh, the, the, the sponsor. Overall. Um, so, yeah. So, anyhow, thanks everyone for watching. Um, we will see you not next week, yeah, a couple but weeks from now. the following week. Yeah, yeah, so just follow, get the, you know, sign up for the notification when we're live. And, uh, a little time and thanks to all the new the new chat people um especially um jackhammer 33 jackhammer he's, he's 33 opening some packs he's opening some packs right now he's he was drinking alcohol off of an infant yeah um he's i you know there's a lot of mvps in our chat but uh, today he he gets the mvp in my book um, that's true so so yeah great stream guys and uh we'll catch you later cheers later guys